Here at It's a Free Country, we have a new feature called The Process is Political. We're looking at the rules, redistricting, campaign finance that govern how our democracy works, the stories behind them that kind of sound boring at first blush but could have huge implications when folks go to the polls. So as part of that this week, we're looking at the rash of new laws that have passed across the country that are changing voter rules. Some states have, have shortened early voting periods. Other states are making requirements for registering voters more strict. And other states are requiring photo IDs. We took a look at South Carolina, which this year passed a rule requiring a photo ID at the polls to get to vote. In South Carolina, actually, before this law was passed, they already required some form of ID to vote, but it included a voter registration card. This new requirement says that even if you have a voter registration card, you need a driver's license. And there were actually a, more than 175,000 registered voters in South Carolina in 2010 who didn't have driver's licenses or another identification from the DMV. So these are voters who could have been voting for years who now won't have the required identification to get to cast their ballots. So who are these people without driver's licenses? According to South Carolina numbers from 2010, they're all ages and about 60% white and about 40% black. Advocates of the bill in South Carolina say they're increasing confidence in the process and preventing voter fraud. But critics say, look, you've not shown that this is actually a problem in South Carolina. There haven't been cases of voter impersonation that have been prosecuted. So whether voter fraud exists or not has been debated politically for decades now. It was something that came up during the Bush administration a lot. And what we need to watch are the politics of this. This is South Carolina, of course, the first primary in the South, the third primary of the primary season. And there's a Republican governor, Nikki Haley, who was elected with Tea Party support. The attorney general was also elected in 2010. And one of his campaign ads was that he would stand up to the Obama administration. And the Obama administration is involved here because the Justice Department has to approve any changes to South Carolina voting laws because of the Voting Rights Act. It's one of the states that requires federal approval. The Justice Department has already told South Carolina they have more questions about what the impact will be. So this could very well become a state's rights issue along with a voting rights issue as this moves through.